has 1,089 recorded species of birds, and that represents 50% of what the continent has. And that is a representation of 10% of what the world has. So what better place would you need to be able to actually go and watch birds? We have it. And to mention as well, some of the bird species we have are actually endemic to Uganda. You wouldn't be able to find them anywhere else in the world. You will have to come to Uganda to be able to discover, explore, and experience them. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, members of parliament from Uganda who are here, heads of government agencies, board management and staff of Uganda Tourism Board, the president of the Uganda, the diaspora, the United Arab Emirates, distinguished stakeholders from the tourism sector, our special guests tonight, the media, and influencers, ladies, gentlemen, distinguished friends. First of all, um, let me congratulate all of you, distinguished friends, for being here and successfully participating in the Expo 2020. Congratulations. Before the world was interrupted by COVID-19, tourism in Uganda was on a strong, positive trajectory, leading in foreign exchange earnings and accounting for 7.7% 7 .7 of the GDP and 6.3% of all formal employment in the country. Uganda is recognized as the most hospitable nation and this is exemplified in the friendliness of the people, the great lifestyle and sense of hope. This has already been very well elaborated by the Chief Executive Officer of the Uganda Tourism Board. Uganda has outstanding landscapes and has a recorded 18,783 species of flora and fauna. And this is, of course, according to Fauna and Flora International. And it ranks the topmost biodiversity countries globally. We possess 54% of the world's remaining population of mountain gorillas, berenge, berenge, you know. And 50% of Africa's bird species, 39% of Africa's mammal richness, and several other unique attractions, such as over 5,000 plant species, etc. And of course, with the longest river, which is 4,130 miles from Uganda to the Mediterranean Sea. The launch of the brand is a part of response to the recovery strategy of Uganda after this dreadful pandemic. We are getting back into the market with a unified message and a clear and equivocal promise and call to action to explore Uganda, the pearl of Africa. Allow me to indulge you a little on the key brand elements and or assets that form the core of our destination brand and the thinking behind this brand. You cannot produce a work 
you cannot produce a product of art, a product of science, a product of philosophy uh, without doing research and trying to find out what really should what really should constitute what you want to to produce. Uh, the Pearl of Africa brand, brand essence and soul of the brand on which our promises sit. Explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa is a call to action, the invitation to the world. Explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Don't just visit and go. Stay on. Explore more. Don't just be told about Uganda. No, do it yourself. Explore. If you wanted to stay for three days, spend seven days, ten days, and explore. And when you go back, you will have explored and you'll have seen more than just being told. Explore Uganda, the part of Africa, is again a call of action, as I've already said. The adventure of life is the value proposition. What we want stakeholders to think about the destination Uganda every time. It is an expression of who we are and presents the depth, the range, and variety of Africa in one unique destination. It speaks to our ability to deliver value for money and return of investment at the time. As we launch this brand to the world in Dubai, we call upon the world to come and explore Uganda. We want to share with you what is unique to us, what is uniquely us, but share with you what we think is unique and we want you to share and participate in this. Don't just be told about Uganda. Explore it yourself. Find the power. It is by visiting, exploring the country that you will indeed realize, oh, that indeed it is the, actually the power of Africa. But without that, you will just be told stories. But if you participate, if you come and explore, if you go to Ishasha and see these lions in trees, and you are walking, and the lions are just looking at you and laughing, isn't it? So you can imagine, the lions are smiling, and you are walking. Meet these mountain gorillas. They are there. I have been there. And you arrive, and they look at you, and you exchange glances, isn't it? And they are there. They live there and you wave and go. They wave and they go further. How can you really live in Dubai all your life? Have you, and you haven't seen a gorilla mountain which you can only find in Uganda. So make an effort and let nobody tell you about it. Go and see it yourself. So finally, I implore you, please come and explore Uganda, the power of Africa. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.
Sanchez from Wetel TV and right now I'm here and got the pleasure of having uh, a time and an interview with Minister of Tourism, uh, Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Honorable Mr. Tom Botime. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for this time and then having us a pleasure to have you here in the television, Wetel TV right now. Would like to ask uh, you uh, very few questions with regards to how do you find Uganda as a tourism place for people to travel and visit your place right now? Well, as we talk now, the weather is excellent. There is peace, there is security, yes. and there are wonderful places to visit. I'm talking of visiting in the northern parts of our country. You will find before you cross the Nile, the Magician Falls. Wow. It's a beautiful place. If you go to western Uganda, you will go to the Mount Renzori. Right. This is a mountain on the equator, but with snow. Yes. Snow on top of the mountain. If you go southwest, you will go to our national parks mm -hmm. and you can go to Bindi, impenetrable forest. You can go to other places where you will find the mountain gorillas, isn't it? Wow. And you can okay. shake hands if you want. With shake hands? You know, <laughs> yeah, well, really. They are very friendly. She's been there. Right. They are very, very friendly. And uh, so we really invite, we invite people to visit Uganda enjoy our country right. our people are very very friendly very you can't be sure about that very friendly people the villages the communities welcome tourists right. so there is total security and you'll definitely enjoy yourself nice of that to know okay so as everybody knows that we have been impacted by the COVID-19 all over the world and uh, after COVID the post-COVID uh, last year, um, how many do you think the tourists that had visited Uganda besides the African neighboring countries, different nationalities in terms of numbers? About, about, about 1.9 million. Wow. 1.9 million. Amazing. Yeah, 1.9 million. Um, we are getting about 1.9 million, um, 1.9 billion dollars. That's what we are making Correct. per year. Uh, we had a GDP contribution, 7.7 percent, right. mm -hmm. and uh, we were em people employed in the tourism sector yeah. at that time, about 1.6 million Ugandans. Wow. So it was a very, very, very important sector, Definitely. and of course we were cut down by, by the COVID pandemic. Course, everybody. We are now beginning to recover. There's no doubt about that. We shall recover and take off again. Great. So what uh, are the current COVID protocols you are currently uh, addressing to the people and the tourists? And this is your time to when you encourage people to visit Uganda. You can tell them ahead of time that what they have to be, be prepared. First of all, the country was opened up right. about three months ago. Right. The president declared that the economy now can open up. And all you need today to go to Uganda is just a COVID test, 72 hours before you land in the country. That's all. And of course, when you land in the country, you are free to go to any place, isn't it? And, and enjoy yourself. But as long as you arrive in Uganda, you have a 72-hour COVID test negative result, isn't it? Then you are free to go about your business. Okay, thank you very much, um, my dear minister. I would like you to have your floor to encourage everybody all over the world. And this is your time. You are currently now on television and in live. And you can address all your concerns and all your campaign to visit Uganda. First of all, COVID is basically over, isn't it? Yes. Of course, we are still having, well, we are not completely free from COVID, 
but entry into Uganda has been eased, eased. And therefore, I invite tourists from all over the world to come and visit Uganda. It's a secure country. The people are friendly. Please come and see. Uh, come and experience the food, the best food. Uh, come and look at those lions yeah. in the trees, isn't it? Yeah. Come to our national parks and and find the mountain gorillas. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. Come to Jinja. There is a city called Jinja, Jinja. And go rafting, you know, on the Nile. And you can go to Machishon Falls National Park right. and enjoy yourself looking at the most spectacular falls, isn't it? In the world, isn't it? So the country is free, there is security, and come and visit Uganda. Don't come to visit for two days. Come and explore. Explore the country. So if you are coming for two days, please make it five. five. <laughs> right. If you are coming for a week, make it two weeks. That's but come and visit us. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Minister. Um, right now, I can tell you, even myself became very, very excited. Can I embrace the cops there? Now I can tell everybody that please come and join, explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Thank you very much and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, good evening. This is Owen Sanchez from Weetel TV. Right now, we are here at the Sheraton Hotel, Jamera Beach. And we are here to um, launch the Explore Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. And we have the honor of um, having us here, the Minister of Uganda himself. Uh, later on, we were going to have a chat with him. But right now, I have to catch the very handsome Max Stanton here, who have been to Uganda himself. And he can say a lot of things, good things about visiting Uganda. Can you just start all over again? Yeah, first of all, I'm honored to be here. It's, I'm a huge fan of Africa. I was born in Botswana. I lived in Zaire. And one of the last family vacations that I went on with my father and my sister was to Uganda. So, right. Okay. As many people know, Uganda is one of the best places in the world to see the mountain gorillas. It is a life-changing experience. But as we saw in the presentations, there's so much more than gorillas. So gorillas are a nice hook It what brings people in. But then it's the people, it's the food, it's the landscape, it's the other animals, it's the kindness, the generosity, the very rich and deep culture that you see there. So it's a beautiful place. I've been once. I'm very happy to go many, many times again. Good. I want all my friends to go. I've had friends that actually went recently. They got back and you have it. You have to tag them. I will. No, yeah. 100%. And it's honestly, it's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth visiting. It's exciting to see the new direction that they're going. Obviously, right. there's a lot of time and energy being put in to putting Uganda even further on the tourism map for the world. Right. So I'm excited to see as the world opens up post-COVID, hopefully, yeah. lots of people coming through Dubai, coming from wherever in the world and going to Uganda. Right. Okay. So what's your, uh, what's your most unforgettable experience when you travel to Uganda? When was this? Most unforgettable experience, we had a flat tire on the way to on the way to the National Park and a car stopped. We didn't have a spare tire in our car. A car stopped, gave us their spare tire. They're like, don't worry about it. They took the driver's number and they connected later. But it, it wasn't an issue for them. It was surprising for me, but it was normal for them. So amazing experience and just shows like the true depth and kindness of the people. Hi, good evening. This is Owen from Wittel TV. And right now I have here one of the person who has been to Af Africa. And that's the, the, the place is Uganda and his name is Abdul Karim. And thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to catch you before you leave for a flight. And um, I just want to get your, your first hand experience traveling to Uganda. Well, now they've made me the brand ambassador, so they will be taking me to Uganda again, giving me a little bit of a, a nice tour and a, a bit of an experience, first-hand experience of what it is like to travel a complete the whole country. Thing is, we just had the Expo 2020 in Dubai, and every time you go to a pavilion, it felt like you went to a country. Yeah. And when I went to the Ugandan pavilion, the, the way they designed the, or the entire Amazing. place, it felt like people 
got a, a glimpse of what Uganda has to offer, be it with the vegetation that they had tried to uh, replicate, the, and the animals that they tried to show. And, and that, that's what's the beauty of, uh, of Africa. You know, a lot of people tend to prefer different destinations for based on whatever the pre prefer, pref, uh, preference is. Right. But Africa's got something so unique. Yeah so unique so beautiful and it's just so tranquil and quiet and that's the best part about it okay when was this travel that you did to uh, uganda uh, i haven't been to uganda yet okay. so they, they're going to be sending me in summer okay. and uh, trust me i am very very excited i've been to africa before right. i've been to mauritius before i've been to egypt and i've been to other uh, african destinations but going to central central africa and uganda in particular that's that's going to be uh, it's going to be intense and i'm looking really looking forward to that Right. Okay. So definitely when you come back, I can have a chat with you one more time and then I can get your first hand experience traveling to Uganda. Are you pretty much very excited to do it? Well, I'm super excited. and I'm very honored that they had chosen me to, to, to represent the country here as, as one of their brand Goodwill Ambassadors. The thing is, when you do the interview with me, when I come back, You'll give me the microphone and I can go on for an hour because that's that's how that's how good that, that destination looks like. The presentation that we yes, saw. Yes, it's very encouraging. It just makes you feel that you know this. This is a country that we've got to, or this is a region as a whole that we've got to experience and and really take time out and, and travel there. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. What uh, last parting words? And I'm I'm sure you would like to thank uh, the the um, team or, or the tourism board for Uganda for taking you as one of their great ambassadors to travel to Uganda and experience the life changing opportunity. Yes, for sure. And I'd like to thank the entire Ugandan Tourism Board, uh, the Ugandan Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, and also uh, the local partners here, Avia Reps, very good partners that they've got. And uh, it's good to see that they want to showcase the true potential of the country. And and, and uh, with us being the ambassadors, you know, we, we Max of Arabia and myself, we, we work so in the media, to, uh, quite a lot in the media, that we, we have the right channel we believe to convince others and say you know what pearl of africa there's a reason for it this is owen sanchez from wheatle tv right now we're still here at the sheraton um Jamaica beach having our uh, good interview with soher al Saman, who has been uh, into uganda for several days and she will going to give us her best testimonial experience uh, while having her time in uganda Thank you very much for the time that you, we've had you here at the WeTel TV network. Thanks for you. Yes. So what, what is your best experience that you've had in Uganda when you were there? Well, it was like a whole, the, the whole trip was my best experience. And when everyone asked me about what is your favorite country uh, between the one, 165 countries in the world, I always spontaneously say it's Uganda because uh, I had something really different. It was like uh, the nature of people, uh, the experiences that is different from other places in the world. Uh, the gorilla trekking by itself was uh, one of the best. It was a heaven. I really enjoyed it, watching those uh, gorillas very close, the family, the mothers, many wives for one gorilla, uh, many kids. The hiking, the enjoyment, like the people around, the experience itself. Uh, passing by a couple of uh, waterfalls on the way and then enjoying the crystal water, uh, swimming there, enjoying your privacy uh, under the waterfalls. Uh, you really feel it's not only a touristic area. No, you never feel that. You feel you are inside the jungle doing something live yes and you're enjoying every single moment away from uh, social media and the commercial things and away from the noise of the city you are in a very real place which is I you cannot find it in many places in the world you can only find it in the virgin uh, jungles which I found it there and I really loved it every time when uh, someone asks me about what is your favorite destination and I say Uganda they are like what really yes really and it's safe and it's so much fun 
if you love adventures of you or if you just love nature you would love it it's beautiful you have to go there as well I think I really have to start packing my stuff here and then go to Uganda myself I've been very excited when I've seen what they're gonna be having for the next coming you know uh, days uh, when they have launched this brand new logo of them explore Uganda the Pearl of Africa I've seen the very captivating video earlier and from your experience what they have interviewed you earlier were it's pretty fascinating what you've experienced from, from the country itself. And you being a woman, and of course myself being a woman, I, I'm concerned of my safety, as most people are. But from I've seen you, I've seen you one piece when she returns back to Dubai, you know? Oh, of course. It's so beautiful. Uh, the food is amazing, the organic food, the uh, lovely, amazing uh, fruits. And like you can have something unique like massage under the stars, uh, dinner under the stars, and people are really lovely there. I, w I love to go to Uganda and visit them one more time and to have some more friends there. It's really nice experience. Uh, I really, when I came back, I really left my heart there and I'm waiting for the next time to visit. So now, jackfruit or pineapple? No jackfruit, pineapple, pineapple. Uh, because to be honest, I tried it in a farm in Thailand. So both are very yummy, but like the jackfruit is much better than Far East. The jackfruit in Uganda is much better than the Far East. So I really loved it there. It's super fresh, super yellow, and really, really uh, sweetie with the smell. It's a very huge. Um, you know, <laughs> it's a very it's huge fruit. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, right now I've seen that you've been awarded as the Goodwill Ambassador of Uganda. Congratulations for that. And here is the floor now to say things good about Uganda and encourage some other tourists to come down and have some fun in Uganda. Yes. Uh, this experience when you visit Uganda, this will change your life because you will really feel that other places in the world is that small. Yeah. Even the cities, the big cities, you'll feel it really small because you've been experiencing the real life, like between uh, animals, real people, right. real life experience. It's not like artificial. It's not Correct. like everything by technology. You're so far away from technology. Very, nor very natural, very beautiful, lovely you really should do it. it you will come back with a different personality you will look at everything material materialistic in really different way I promise okay thank you very much for now myself and her we're gonna travel to Uganda next Woo! time Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes, and yes of course I'll be joining <laughs> and right now I'm closing from Sheraton Jumeirah Hotel. This is Owen Sanchez from WeTel TV. Bye for now. Have a great evening.